so I met Dick uh, when he uh, applied to Villa Jolie at the time in the early 90s, and he applied for a position of being the director of physical education. At that time, we did not have any phys ed classes on campus. Uh, we had no athletic teams on campus. And Dick came on board, and I was asked to be his supervisor, which was funny because I really didn't know anything about phys ed or athletics. The idea of beginning a phys ed program was to enable our students to uh, live healthy lives and to be to get outside the classroom and to get to know each other. I consider him to be a trailblazer. He is and he accepted a position that had never been on our campus before. Um, he was somebody who goes ahead of other people and uh, I think that we were able to follow him. He was the leader. Through his character, um, he led with dignity, he uh, leads with honesty, um, and was able to get our whole athletic program started. Dick Watts and I, since we shared um, an office together for many, many years, we got to know each other personally through watching our families grow. Uh, when I started here, Stevenson University had a daycare that my daughter, being four at the time, was in while I worked. So Dick has actually watched my two children um, grow into adults and get married. Uh, I've been able to follow his children and grandchildren through the years and uh, hear all about his wife Marcy and her, uh, her golfing. So it's been very fun to be a part, feel like I'm a part of Dick's life is, is um, he has just been so special to, to me um, and just a mentor to everybody in this college. Dick had the philosophy coming in here, he knew where he was and he told everybody you've got to crawl before you walk and you've got to walk before you run. Um, that was how Dick approached everything. Dick deserves this honor of being inducted into the Stevenson Hall of Fame for his many years here as a teacher or educator, uh, a mentor, and uh, an administrator. He has done so much to guide all of us. Many of us have been here, or a few of us who have been here 20 years or more. He was so instrumental in guiding us uh, to where we've gotten to today. So, Dick Watts, congratulations.